goodness that was a quick two week holiday oh my goodness I cannot believe I'm back to work this week where does the time go I really don't know Jamie is away back to work today back to reality um, I'm back in work Thursday night I'm back on the night shifts as always um, it's my birthday today I'm 28 years old but by the time you're watching this it's probably going to be after my birthday um, but today I'm going to take Pixie and Roxy to Largs. I was going to leave them at home um, just with the way Roxy is. Um, I didn't want to take them and have them stressed out at other dogs because they've been quite stressed with them recently. Largs is obviously a place where there is going to be dogs. Um, took them out to Castle Semple again yesterday and they were an absolute nightmare. So I was hoping for a stress-free day today. But given what happened last night, um, I don't really want to leave them in on their own and what happened yesterday during the day, um, we had issues with thumping again, banging up the stairs which have been really really good for the last two months, two to three months, we haven't really heard anything. Um, Roxy's anxiousness inside has really reduced and we haven't really seen any signs or effects of anxiousness. Um, however, last night with given all this banging and obviously we had to phone the police and an ambulance arrived and all this kind of stuff so it was just absolutely crazy. Roxy went and hid in the bathroom and refused point blank to come out. She was so scared, um, it was a shame and I felt as if that's maybe going to set her back just a wee bit. Um, so given that it's the day after I don't really want to leave her in by herself um, just because of you know in case it happens again during the day when I'm not here now I know that I'm going to have to persevere when I'm at work and they're going to have to persevere but I just because I'm here and I'm going out I would much rather have them come with me and I'm sure we'll cope it's myself and my mum and Misty's going and um, I do have the stroller so um, Roxy will be in the stroller for most of the journey and um, really most of the, the walk and just to rest her back but this video is basically a kind of update on Roxy and um, this is sooner than what it should happen I have an appointment for her on the 24th which I discussed in my last video that I shared about Roxy uh, but just a wee kind of update so I posted on Instagram that she was still quite groany quite sore I don't know if it's because the two of us are off she's out more although she's still getting the recommended amount of walks it's more than what she does when we're working because obviously when we're working we, we can't always give her three walks a day sometimes she only gets one walk a day at least one walk a day she has if not she gets a good walk out the back garden even though it's not really that roomy she still gets out and she still gets the exercise out in the back garden but it's not as much as you know the three 20 minute walks that the vet had recommended so because the two of us have been off the last two weeks She's been going to the park two, three times a day for proper 20 minute walks. So she's getting the full benefit of the exercise that she needs and she's been recommended. But I feel as if maybe this has an effect on her pain levels um, as well. What I was thinking was we bought a pet stroller, as you know, um, and she's been in the pet stroller for our kind of longer walks, like when we go to Largs or Castle Semple, things like that. We put her in the stroller. Um, and she comes out for her short walks and back in but when she's out we do meet a lot of dogs and as you already know she has issues with other dogs so she likes to bark aggressively at them she likes to pull on the lead and of course I'm forgetting that when she's doing this her whole body is like tensing and she's pulling and she's tugging and she's up in her hind legs and is trying to stop that um, and because she's been doing that I feel as if that's still putting strain on her um, her back end, her back, um, that kind of thing. So I was a bit concerned because the Metacam hasn't really been working the last two weeks. She's still been groaning, um, you know, that kind of thing. And she's still kind of flinching when you touch her back, which tells me that she is still sore. Um, so I went into the vet yesterday and spoke to 
um, one of the female vets who isn't the usual vet we see because we usually see a male vet and he's wanting to take over her care so anything to do with her back we should really see him but what am I supposed to do if she's still sore and she's still in pain you know I'm going to, I'm going to see anybody really um, so anyway I spoke to the female vet and asked for some advice and basically mentioned that we're doing still doing all the right things still doing this still doing that she's still growing she's still sore um, and what basically what what's happened is that um, the Metacam isn't really doing what it's doing um, and we're still lifting her up and down the stairs but basically I feel and I think because I and I'm not saying Jamie doesn't look after them he does but I feel as if I have more like no, not knowledge but I kind of attend to them more um, than what he does. I spend a lot more time with them than what he does um, just because you know obviously to pass the time for me I, I spend time with them, I brush them, I take them into the bedroom with me, they lie on the bed with me when I'm watching television and Jamie's on the PS4. I take them out to the park more than what Jamie does so I feel as if I know them more than what he does um, but I have basically mentioned to the vet that, you know, we're not really doing that great. We're kind of taking a step back than what we had been, kind of going in the opposite direction. So we ended up with a top up on top of her Metacam. So she's now on Tramadol, which I didn't really want because that's quite a strong painkiller. You know, I give that medication out in work. Um, it's quite a strong one. So she gets half a capsule um, twice a day. Yep, so she gets, um, let me see, she gets 50 milligram tramadol capsule, she's gave me five of them and she's to get half a capsule twice a day, so it's 25 milligrams twice a day, so she's basically getting 50 milligrams a day um, and she's basically gave me it in a bag so she split it up so there is capsules in there and there is powder because she's had to open the capsule and split it. Um, oh, Pixie, I'm soaking. Could you just have a drink? Thank you. <laughs> um, so this is what the powder comes in. It's like a wee kind of um, container. And basically we've just to either dilute with water and give it with water or put it in a wee bit of something tasty or just put it in her food. Now, she's quite good at taking her Metacam so what I'd done was because she's good at taking it with a syringe I thought I would use the water last night the water was just an absolute no-go like I put it in the syringe and I put it in her mouth and she just spat it straight back out and because I think when I shake the powder with the water to dilute it um, all of it was coming back out and it was like she was foaming at the mouth because it was just all this saliva that was coming out because she was trying to get it back out her mouth and it, she ended up in an absolute maze so I don't know how much tramadol she got last night but she seemed to be pretty settled and um, she didn't groan or anything when she was moving or stretching or anything like that and she gets that on top of her metacam as well now this morning I thought I need to try a different tactic I need to do something different um, with the powder to see so I tried a small amount of peanut butter and I just mixed it in with the peanut butter but however she knew fine well that the powder was in there because she refused to take it so I literally had to just scoop it up with my finger and just put it in her mouth and just let her lick away and it wasn't as messy there was no mess this time so she wasn't spitting all the powder back out she was just lick 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 and it was just going down with the peanut butter um, it's not something I give them a lot of all the time is peanut butter and I don't want it to be a kind of constant thing. I think tonight there needs to be an easier way. I think tonight I'm maybe going to try just a wee bit of cheese. Um, just kind of like warm up a wee bit of cheese in my hands, roll it into a ball, put a wee kind of hole in the middle, pour the powder in, cover it up with another bit of cheese and just fire it in because, because whenever I give her cheese she seems to rip the fingers off me so I think that might be the best way to give it it um, and it's only a five day course just to try until we go back and see our regular vet that we always see on the Monday um, which is the following Monday the 24th um, but that is basically what they came like there so capsules and the wee pipette things 
Um, again, I have wrote down in my book um, the kind of what's been happening. Um, with obviously we went in beforehand, so everything I asked the vet goes in this wee book. So I've just basically been. I've just basically been keeping up to date, keeping myself up to date with what's going on, keeping an eye on her weight. Now last time she weighed 8 kilograms, we were told to reduce her food down and she now weighs back down to 7.8 which is good. Um, although she has been slightly more active than what she would be if we were at work so we need to just watch that and be careful. Um, but yeah, so that's it. So obviously wasn't what I was expecting yesterday. Um, getting started on Chamadol, that was the kind of next stage up that I didn't want to go um, but in the same sense I really don't want her to be sore and she was still groaning and I just hated seeing her like that and I hated seeing her being uncomfortable um, so I decided just to take the bull by the horn and it's like something if I see somebody or if I'm in pain and something for me isn't working what is it I do? I go and phone the doctor and I go and ask for something stronger so that's basically what I've done for her she's not able to do that so I've had to do that for her um, and I've just had to take the bull by the horn and just suck it up and just be like right clear we're on Chamadol now hopefully it's just a short term fix um, while you know obviously things settle down from the holiday period and um, maybe things will get back to normal when i go back to work um but five day course to try back to the vet on monday and see how she gets on um with that and hopefully we can come off the channel and back onto the metacam um and see how she gets on with that but between that yesterday which i wasn't really overly joyous about um and obviously with the the woman up the stairs obviously causing havoc again um, I think I'd mentioned that before in previous videos that we've had a few issues with that um, has maybe possibly set her back a wee bit so a bit of a damper to the end of our holiday um, but it is what it is and you just have to suck it up and get on with it as they say Roxy come here come here come and see me a year and a half She's in a half. She goes in a half because I basically like forced her medicine. She's got the hump with me. She had the hump with me for ages. She wouldn't even look at me yesterday. She was absolutely disgusted with me. Weren't you? Aha. Uh -huh. She's currently lying on the sofa just now in a half. Giving me the big sad eyes. The big sad eyes. And the sun's to be shining today so hopefully the tramadol will help calm her down and give her a wee bit of pain relief and she'll maybe not be as aggressive towards dogs like I still feel possibility of pain being an issue with her with other dogs I'm not entirely sure that's still a work in progress but if it's to do with pain then it's going to take some time to settle down but that is the update on Roxy bit of a decline really bit of a, an opposite direction um, to what we were aiming for but I thought I would give you a wee quick update because every time I have an appointment or there's something new I'm going to pop a video up and let you guys know what's going on with her because um, I want to keep everybody updated but as well there'll be more updates in between these videos on Instagram so there is a link to Instagram down below that's a kind of more that's the social media that I use more for things I use Instagram like every single day so if you want to add me on Instagram then you will get a lot more updates than what you will on here and you'll get updates in between appointments and things so please add me on Instagram and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please do but yes yeah, so that is us so give us a thumbs up if you like this video not really a video to like anyway but doesn't mean you need to dislike it <laughs> um, and leave me a comment and let me know if any if you guys have any of your dogs on Tramadol and if it works for them because I've heard stories that sometimes Tramadol doesn't always work and I'd hate to go to the next step up as it is so early in this condition for her to even be on Tramadol. Um, I think given where it is on her spine it is quite painful because obviously the spinal cord and the nerves and all this kind of stuff. So leave me a comment and let me know what um, you guys have um for your dogs if your dogs if your dogs have tried chamadol or anything like that and what your experience is with it um i would really much appreciate the advice but yes that is us so i will catch you guys in the next video and i'll see you later bye